taking well, you on the awakening today because whew, I don't know about you, but wherever you are in the world, in the UK at the moment, it feels like there's a heaviness. Um, I mean, like, other people seem to be feeling it as well. I've contacted the cute, a few friends to see whether they're feeling it. Um, oh, that's nice. And, uh, <laughs> okay, so someone's giving it, I, I can use that in the awakening, thank you. <laughs> uh, someone I contacted just said, I feel nothing but love and light. Transcendence is spinning up and out as the sky, shift your perception, love you. I can use that in the awakening, thank you. Uh, he's not in the UK, <laughs> obviously. Um, but there is something in the air. And if you're an empath or a sensitive person, you will feel a heaviness. And it feels like something's coming down on top of us. I'm just being totally honest. And uh, of course, you've got to feel it. You've got to feel everything in order to transcend, in order to move in to the light. You've got to feel the dark. And so um, today, my job is to take you from the dark into the light and so today that's what i'm going to try and do so today as i said it feels like there's this real strong heaviness in the air uh, and even people that are not that spiritual are saying the same it feels like they're being pushed down in some way and so I thought, well, what am I going to do with the awakening today? How am I going to help you? Even if I just sit there and smile, that may just help you to come out of this, to give you some hope. But I'm not going to be false and pretend that I feel on top of the world when I don't. So I'm thinking a couple of things that we can do to try and move us from this into the light. And the first one is to drink some water. So, I've got my water. Dehydration can cause heaviness, more heaviness than there actually is. Um, and so water can actually help with headaches, with aches and pains. So, the first thing we can do is drink some water, okay? Um, the next things we can do is we can check Course in Miracles. Course in Miracles, the peace of God is shining in me now. The peace of love is shining in me now. And as I say, you can't, I, I'm not asking you, whoops, <laughs> to deny your feelings. Denying your feelings is not the right way to go with this. Denying your feelings is not the answer. What I'm asking you to do is to feel, but to still be able to function and to be able to have a good day, to be able to carry on, to be able to function. So I've had some water and I'm sitting with this heaviness. And if you feel it, sit with me. I can feel it in my neck, mainly in my neck. Like I can hardly move it. And my head, my shoulders. And it's nothing to do with electricity. It's nothing to do with any of that because we've been in the allotment. It's the air outside, the sky. And the, the weather, it's dark and gloomy. Isn't it interesting that people get quite low when there's no sunshine? Hmm. And that is actually interesting, not just because the sun is so important to us, because we get our vitamin D and it nourishes us, and you know, vitamin D is so important, especially for depression and things like that. But also, um, it's psychological, and we've been kind of brought up that way. But when the sun shines, people smile at you more. When the sun shines, people bond. It's, it's, it's a belief system. So why don't we try and recreate the sun? If you're in a country at the moment like we are in the UK, and it's miserable and dark and 
you know, not, not, you're not feeling too good. How about we recreate those feelings of whatever we get when the sun comes out? And again, you can sit in these feelings and maybe, we, but I don't want to sit in these feelings because I feel this is a natural, that's not like um, I'm feeling upset about something. It feels like something in the air is pushing down on top of me. You know, so I want to do whatever I can to feel better. Um, you can wash your head with cold water. I find that helps a lot. Put cold water on your neck. That helps a lot because it helps the circulation. Breathe. So let's just see. So what I'm saying today is some of you will get something from this. Some of you won't get anything from this. Some of you are going to feel that this helps you. Some of you won't. Um, we're all different, but we can try. We can try. And I'm also going to put this on Facebook Live. As you know, uh, I've gone back onto Facebook Live and I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to bring up, I've got 4,000 people on here. And so I'm going to tell them, and we're going to do the awakening together. Welcome to the awakening. And um, negotiating the heaviness today. Okay. Right, so you're on Facebook Live as well here. I'm going to put the phone here so people can see. We're on Facebook Live and we're going to, we're doing Welcome to the Awakening on Moving on TV. So welcome guys. And we're talking about the heaviness that's in the air at the moment. So the first thing we did is drank some water. I drank some water. You can see, can't see the water. You can see the water in the screen here. The next thing we did is we looked at A Course in Miracles, um, blessed with love and trying to let the love come in no matter how you feel. Love yourself. So if you're not feeling too good today, you need to nurture yourself a bit more, even more than usual. That's a good one. Nurture yourself even more than usual. And, um, but we're going to sit with this now. We're going to sit with this sense of breathing ah, and relax. And just sit with these feelings. Sit with the heaviness that you feel. Because a lot of the time we run away too quickly from the helplessness and the heaviness and the things that we feel are happening around us. It's interesting that my husband today feels it as well. And he's not as sensitive as me, by any means he's not as sensitive as me. So let's, let's just relax. Let's just relax. And feel. We're just feeling. Hello, Esther Baron. How are you, sweetheart? I'm not going to say actual names because we're on moving on TV as well. So I may not say people's names. So we're just going to relax and breathe. Because if you're in the UK... Quite a few people are saying they can feel this heaviness in the air at the moment. Like this electricity, like there's too much, too much, too much. Just breathe and let go. Drink some water. Hi, sweetheart. Drink some water and take a deep breath in. Just gonna breathe and relax. Breathe. Just breathe. Now imagine the area wherever it, the heaviness or the pain is. You can use this for pain relief. Imagine that area. Say if you've got the pain in your head, in your shoulders, in your neck, wherever. I want you to really, really feel it. Let that pain come in. Let it all come in. Invite it in now. Invite the heaviness in. Invite it in. Invite that heaviness into your body. 
into your neck, into your shoulders, into every, just invite it in. Invite whatever you're feeling, depression, fear, anger, anything, just invite it in, breathe in. Just invite that in, that's it, just invite those feelings in. Feel it, really, really feel. Really, really feel it. That's it, really invite in everything. With me, it's in the neck and shoulders, across the trapezius, I'm going to invite it all in now. <sighs> invite it all in. So the awakening today is inviting in everything, inviting the pain, inviting the heaviness, the helplessness, the, everything that you feel in your body and your mind. Invite it in. Feel it. Just feel. And kind of let it move down to your hands. So feel whatever's going on. Let it move down to your hands so you can hold it in your hands now. Your hands are getting heavier and heavier. All the pain, all the discomfort is going all the way down into your hands. Hold your ha the discomfort and the pain in your hands. Hold it in your hands. Feel it. Feel it go all the way down into your hands. Now you can feel that heaviness, like you're holding everything. And both your hands are getting heavier and heavier. They're going down, down, like everything on, in your hands, like tons of bricks in your hands. You're holding tons of bricks in your hands. Hold. Let everything be held in your hands. I hope this is helping you. And breathe. And breathe. That's it. And feel that heaviness in your hands in the awakening today. I might start streaming the awakening, see what happens. Really feel it. And your hands are getting heavier and heavier because all the pain, all the heaviness is now in your hands. I can feel my hands really, really heavy, being dragged down to the ground. Oh, they're so heavy. Really, really heavy. Really heavy. And breathe. And let that heaviness, really, really strong heaviness in your hands drag you all the way, drag you all the way down, down, down. Until you feel that all that heaviness has gone out of my neck is now in my hands, okay? And now what I want you to do is I just want you to whack it, just shake your hands out. Shake it out of your hands, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. That's it. Shake it out, shake it out. <laughs> Already some of the heaviness, it's gone. It's going. It's going, that's it. Out of your hand. That's it. Okay? We let go. We all go out of our hands. Okay. Now, I hope you feel a little bit better. I'm going to tag some more people here because we're basically talking about letting go of all the tension, any of the heaviness, we're going to release it now by what we've done is we connected to it in a big way. We connected to everything we were feeling 
and we made it go all the way down to our hands. Sorry, I'm just inviting more people on here. And I'm going to probably do a stream soon. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken all that heaviness and we put it into our hands and now we're shaking it out of our hands. Okay. And now I'm going to actually open the book, Simply Amazing. This is the book of my recovery. I recovered in the therapeutic community from uh, borderline without medication. I'm going to let it open. Right? And it's basically, okay. It's about, Casey Armstrong asked me, now tell us the truth, did you take advantage of the bell? Now today, I'm saying to you, if you feel that you've got aches or pains or you don't feel too well, it, you have every right to say to get yourself validated and say, you know what, I'm not coping very well today. I need some validation. I need some love. Okay? So I did annoy some people, I said, but seriously, this is your biggest opportunity to heal if you have anything like that. Remember? Your first step is to say, look, I understand that these places exist. This is the therapy of the community. Um, I want to go in there, even though I know it's not going to be a piece of cake. Um, this is about the therapy of the community that I went into. And then Casey says, there's no wonder drugs that can handle everything. And I say, that's true. People should know they're not on their own. Hello, Megan. How are you, sweetheart? Have you had the baby yet? <laughs> I can feel a joke coming on to Bob and Bertha there about that. You still haven't had your baby? Have you had your baby yet, sweetheart? Today we're talking about getting rid of heaviness and pain in the body. And I was just saying, it's simply amazing. I say you can ring your metaphorical bell. Ask for validation because there's a lot of heaviness in the air today, guys. And... Um, so what I'm telling you to do is to feel that heaviness, bring it all the way down into your hands and then shake it out, shake it out. And I've got my beautiful Megan here. I'm not going to say your surname because we're on uh, moving on TV on YouTube, but um, I hope you're well, sweetheart. I'm going to read a message from heaven for the lovely people that are on at the moment and for everyone who watches The Awakening today. Um, it's about feeling the heaviness that's in the air at the moment. There's something in the air. <laughs> I can feel it. Something in the air. And uh, let's see what your loved ones in heaven are saying about this. Okay, you are ready for a change of scenery? Explore. You are ready for a change of scenery. Explore. That's an interesting one. So that's coming from your messages from heaven. Back to front. Sorry about that, guys. It's back to front on Facebook. Jake, Jackie Newcomb. You are ready for a change of scenery. Explore. I use her messages from heaven all the time. You're ready for a change of scenery. Explore. Okay, so you may want... To go out somewhere nice, you may want to close your eyes and imagine you're on the beach where the sun is shining. Because as I said, when the sun shines, people feel different. Now, a lot of the heaviness has gone out of my neck and shoulders since I started to do this. You are ready for a change of scenery. Explore. Uh, I'm also going to give you a Sri Baba card. To help you. This is Hinduism and these are really powerful messages. So for the everyone who's on here at the moment, it's upside down. The wise are cheerful and content with the lot in life. And it's upside down because could it be we're not being grateful enough for what we have? For con we're not connecting. Wise are cheerful and content with the lot in life. It means that we need to be more content, more grateful, for our people in our lives, people that we are connected to, 
and it's upside down. So when I get a card upside down, my intuition tells me that it's telling me and it's telling those who are on here that maybe we need to do a gratitude list. We need to start doing gratitude. And maybe tomorrow I'm gonna to talk about gratitude and gratitude for everything. If gratitude for things that are not working, gratitude for the pain that we're experiencing in life, gratitude for, for the fear, gratitude for what's coming up, gratitude for everything. Because if you get to the level of being grateful for the things that are not working, then you have become really enlightened. So I love you lots, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I've got a big interview tonight, Megan and Esther. I've got a big interview tonight with Charlie Ward and Rebecca Briggs. If you've got any questions at all, please send them to me. I will put them to Megan and Charlie. Uh, we're going to talk. We're going to try and get as positive as we can to give you some more light on Living on TV to enlighten you on what's coming and how to prepare for Nasara and Gesara for the beautiful new uh, experiences that we're going to have and how to negotiate the weeds, <laughs> most of like gardens now, whatever is in our way, how to negotiate that as a human race because there are false flags coming and you need to really stop watching the media. It's just going to be nonsense. A lot of nonsense is coming our way, believe me. A lot of lies and nonsense and rubbish. Um, I'm not going to go into it because that's not my job to do that at the moment. But this is the awakening. So I took you from the dark into the light. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel a little bit better. Please watch, share, subscribe and like Moving On TV community. Uh, we've gone past 750 now. I want to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of July. My goal is to do that by the end of July and to start streaming. That would be so cool.